Hello my lovelies, welcome to Erica's Magical Projects. I'm Erica and each week I'm trying to bring a little bit more magic into my life using handicrafts and spiritual practices. This week I'm going to be labelling up some of my yarn. I've got a craft fair coming up and I think that actually making the labels is just as creative as making the products themselves. So join me as I get my laminator out and try not to get too much cat hair stuck inside it. Now the first thing I've got to do is get all of my yarn out of storage. I keep the plastic bags safe from the moths. And just before I have a sale, I like to get everything out, have a stock take and have a good look at it and make sure that it's okay for sale. I really love having all my yarns out like this, it means I can see them properly. Oh, I love to look at them. But what I do realise is that I haven't got enough blue yarns. This is because I really love blue and at one point I realised that all I had was blue, 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 everything. And so I try and avoid blue, but look at my blue section, it's not very big. Note to self, make more blue yarns. Now I've got all my yarn out, I can see which one of these has already got a label on. But uh, my previous label are a little bit wonky, so I'm going to redesign this label and I'm going to laminate them because when you're out in the field, sometimes the air is a bit damp and this can happen, sort of, it just fall apart. So I'm going to redo these wonky labels and laminate them. And then a lot of these I've done this year, so they haven't got labels yet. And I've got to dig out my notes and find out what fibres are in these so I can put the details onto the labels. Well, I'm not sure I can bear to say the word labels anymore. I'm going to have to call them tags. Well, I started with some grey card. Cut it to size. I find it's easier to make lots at the same time. My favourite tool, the label maker. I used to pay for labels, but now I make my own. The worker controls the means of production. Then I took a printout of information about each one of the yarns and cut it up and then carefully tore around the edges. A little bit of paper glue just to stick them together. And they're all ready for the laminator. Laminate, laminate, laminate. This is the crucial bit. A small wrinkle, but this lot have turned out okay. Cut them out. Make a little hole and then put them through the laminator again. I like to add a little crochet flower to all of my labels, just with a spot of glue. Attach some ribbon. Attach the ribbon to the thing. Around the skein of yarn. All done. Over the winter I made lots of key rings. Almost a hundred mushrooms. They all need labels. Individually embroidered hearts. Come on, that's a bargain at three pounds. baubles, crystal purses, finger puppets and little bags, all for three pounds. The crochet creatures I made last month need labels. There you go. And mushroom lighter holders. I summon fire. Then I checked over the rest of my stock. These gloves are fine. Well, they're all done now. They've all got labels on. All I've got to do now is make little flowers and glue them on, and they're all ready for the stall. And over here, everything is back, tucked away into its bag, with little labels on now, all ready to sell. And more over here. So much.
here I am on Saturday, it's finally craft store time. All my hard work is paid off because look how gorgeous everything looks. I'm very happy with this. There's nothing better than having the hand spun yarn hanging in the sunshine. I really do think the natural light shows off their best qualities and this is where they deserve to be, hanging up to be admired. So now it's time to take down the gazebo, look at that, taking it down. And just in time because it's getting a little bit windy here but we had a fabulous day lots of people turned up it was quite amazing i love a community event it doesn't really matter how much you sell i talked to lots of children about crochet i got my hook out and i showed them i made all of this with just a hook and you can too one of my passions is to encourage people to make handmade goods i told them to get on youtube to learn how to crochet and i said to the children you can make all the things here just as easily as i can well here i am back in the house and i've got all my stock that i've got left back into the boxes ready for the next sale i will go through it again before the next one i did much better than i expected actually i made enough money to cover the cost of the pitch and the cost of the materials but realistically, nobody's ever going to get rich selling their handmade goods. Not in this country, not in this climate. Only when people appreciate the true value of handmade goods will they pay the actual value of them. I think in the future this is going to become more and more important for us as our resources become more scarce. We're going to keep hold of things, reuse things, mend things. And although I'm not going to make any fortunes today, in the future my skills might be more highly valued. And that's what I'm hoping for when I'm talking to the children, encouraging them that handmade really is magical. Join me next week when I'll be showing you how to make those mushroom pouches.